Welcome back Kaiju fans to another crisp review and today we're going to be looking at the Servum from the Godzilla Monster Planet or Planet of the Monsters anime mo animated movie that is coming up in late 2017 and should have a US release on Netflix in about 2000, early 2018. So to get started off, we'll just take a look at the tag right here. Um, it's just a poster for the movie, it says Servum right here, it's the same thing as Godzilla's tag. Backside is the cutout spine pattern we've come to know. Inside it says Servum and the year that it appeared, 2032. All that fun stuff. So, pretty cool. Pretty cool tag. I wish that there was an actual picture of the Servum on the front, but I guess that's too hard to copy paste now. So, that's okay. Moving on to the figure itself. It's a pretty basic figure. It's just cast in this blue vinyl that is different from the Godzilla. The Godzilla is cast in a green. This is cast in a blue with tons of black lowlights along the back and the wings and the spines and not very much on the bottom. I'm pretty sure they just decided not to paint anything on the bottom for time reasons and to make it cheap as cheap as possible. And then the only other coloration is on the face with the eyes, if I can get that to focus for you guys. There we go. So he's got some red eyes. There's like nine of them or something. There's just a random amount. Eight or nine, depending on which ones you want to count that are or are not painted. So that's really it for the paint job. The detail is really good on the top because the paint helps bring it out. There's so many ridges and indents along the wings and the wings itself have very nice sharp crisp edges to them and they're very thick as well so they're not like hollow like some of the other winged bandai vinyl creatures are i mean they're they're, t they're a tiny bit hollow to get the mold correctly but for the most part they're almost like solid so that's really good they'll never warp over time or anything like that and then the little tiny spines on top that are supposed to kind of mirror Godzilla's look awesome. They're all basically individual. None of them are really like stuck together, like the mold failed or something. So that's really good. Uh, single row, and then it goes to three all the way down to here on the tail, and then it goes back to a single. Then we get the kind of like frilly end of the tail that reminds me of Kamada-kun from Shin Godzilla, or almost like a Ghidorah-style tail, where it's just kind of like fluffy for some reason. And the face has a ton of eyes. Let's get a let's get a focus on here. Okay, yeah, we got a ton of eyes and lots of detail, ridges, textures, all that good stuff. The teeth are in there pretty well. Uh, they're all kind of sculpted individually, which is really nice. Top of the mouth has the same situation. It's hard to get with the wings. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> The wings are really big, so it's hard to get it in the screen. And then he's got kind of like this weird gummy thing going on in there that, you know, it looks okay. And then his little tiny arms and legs, they look pretty nice. There's not a ton of detail put into the bottom of them. They try to put a little bit on the sides, as you can see. The wings are trying to block all the light, so I apologize for that. And then, like, basically the side of his body all has, like, this wavy pattern. And then the underside is, like, all smooth except for some ridges here. And here, on the bottom of its face, because you can kind of see them from the front. And then the licensing info is carved into the bottom of the tail right here. So, pretty good, pretty good detail for a cheap little Bandai vinyl like this. I can't complain at all. For articulation, really, there there is none, because the tail is glued in place, so you can't spin that. The wings are long ovals and glued in place, so you can't do anything with that. And then the rest is all one molded piece. I mean, you can kind of squish his mouth down a little bit, but yeah, you're not getting any posability out of this whatsoever. It's just kind of like place and look at um, vinyl. So moving into some size comparisons, we can just put him next to the Godzilla so you guys can get a look at how they kind of match up together. 
Godzilla is obviously significantly larger figure. And you can kind of tell the difference in their color where he's much darker and he's much lighter. But that's how he looks next to the Godzilla 2017 Bandai Vinyl. Here he is next to the Shin Godzilla family of figures. Um, this Godzilla is obviously way larger. The closest figure to scale here would be the Kamada Kun. They're both relatively small figures, so if you have this guy, you can kind of get an idea how big he is. Um, Kamada Kun is slightly longer, but they have kind of like almost like the same size going on. I mean, this is a little baby Godzilla, this is a little baby Godzilla spawn, so you know. They're kind of fun to put together. Here it is next to some pretty common figures with the Neck of Godzilla 2014 and then the more modern, like, birth version, um, Tamashii Nation's Monster Arts Godzilla, um, Heisei. So, you probably have this or this sculpt, so it's, you know, it's, it's an awkward sized figure to say the least. You know, it's like a Rodan or Mothra. Wait, Rodan or Mothra? So here it is next to Rodan and Mothra. Um, if you have the Heisei Fire Rodan or Radon, the figure is actually right about the same size. It's just Rodan has these more swooping wings where these are kind of curved. And then Mothra is, you know, just a little bit bigger because the wings have more mass. So you guys can kind of see, like, if you have another flying kaiju figure, this is basically the size you're getting with this. Overall, the design of Servum is really interesting, and this figure captures it excellently. It's supposed to be a Godzilla spawn creature, and we have those accents displayed nicely throughout this figure with the Godzilla-like spines. If you didn't know, the wings are actually supposed to be kind of like the shape of a Godzilla spine. Um, let me throw this in here really quick for comparison. They kind of were going with the same thing here for the shape of the wings and Godzilla spines. So that's very unique. And then other than that, they kind of just gave him this dragon-esque look. It's very interesting. Um, the lore behind these kaiju is kind of strange. They're like, they're spawns of Godzilla, but Godzilla is like a magnetic plant. So these are basically like magnetic plants as well. It's, just, it's really odd. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I have some videos explaining the origins of Godzilla in this universe, and these things are kind of weird. Um, there's also a worm ver version of the Servum that kind of looks like a ramplet or, or a lamprey or like a um, like a death worm kind of cryptid design, so that's interesting, but this is definitely the more interesting of the two, being a dragon, and this is the only one we have a vinyl of. I don't know if we'll get a vinyl of the other type or not. I don't know if there's going to be vinyls of anything else from this movie, but this is what we have. Um, if you think the design is unique, if you like the design, or if you're just a casual or hardcore collector of the Bandai vinyls, you can't go wrong picking these two up for the new movie. Uh, this one's probably harder to find now. Um, you could probably still find this one pretty pretty easily. I got both of them together for like $25, so this was, you know like 12 bucks. I don't know what it's going for now, but it's cheap. It's it's going to be probably the only representation we have of the Servum for a long time. So if you like the figure like I did, go ahead, look for it, pick it up. I recommend it completely. And that's going to be it for this video, guys. Um, I will catch you all in the next one. Peace out. Thank you for making it to the end of the video, I appreciate it a lot. As always, liking, commenting, and sharing really helps out my channel. And make sure you're subscribed if you want to stay up to date on the latest kaiju news and crisp reviews.